Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. We're talking NFL Week 4, but at the moment, we got a ton of college football going on right now. It's not looking great for our picks, but in the edit, I will give you an updated report of how we're doing right here. So all the games finally ended, and we had a tough Saturday, guys. You remember our perfect Friday where we won 3.1 units and everything was great? Well, we gave almost all those units back. We finished our Saturday minus 2.35. Uh, obviously, I'm disappointed. My apologies to everyone. That's not the results we're looking for. But Football Sunday's here. Let's grab some of these back. In this episode, we got an AFC battle here. We got the Indianapolis Colts, the dog shit Colts, on the road in Miami to play the Dolphins. Let's go. Welcome to the sewers. The sewers. The sewers. Get the suez. So Colts at Dolphins, like I said, we're looking at a line of Dolphins laying one and a half points at home here. As of 9 a.m. Tuesday morning, everything's pretty split down the middle. We got 54% of the money on the Dolphins. Yo, check this out though. So the money shifts to the Dolphins, right? By 13%, it goes from 54 to 67. The books react heavy to it. We were looking at Miami minus one and a half, but it jumped a whole point. Now here we are on Saturday night looking at Miami minus two and a half. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be Miami plus 4.29. So we got a pretty solid lean on the Colts there. Analytics are saying the Colts should be favored by four and some change. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown of this game. Now we got Jacoby Brissett starting against his longtime former team, the Colts. Tell me this, if there's any defensive coaching staff in the NFL that knows how to exploit Jacoby Brissett's weaknesses, is it not the Indianapolis Colts? But things are not exactly sunshine and rainbows in Colts land. It's a sad, sad place in Indianapolis. They are 0-3 at the moment. Carson Wentz is really struggling, and the best player on their team, Quentin Nelson, is currently on the injured list. Do you guys remember last year when the Colts had one of the best offensive lines in the NFL? Yeah, that is the past. This year, they have three of their five starting offensive linemen missing, and they are currently ranked 31st in the NFL as far as pass protection goes. And now they're on the road in Miami against a Dolphins team that blitzes at a 40.2% rate, second in the NFL. That is a terrible recipe. And couple that with the fact that Carson Wentz is playing quarterback, he's got one of the worst QBRs against the Blitz in the last three years in the entire league. So this is a must play for the Miami Dolphins, right? Listen to what I just told you. This is a must play, right? Let's not be too hasty, because do you remember I said the Colts were 31st ranked in the NFL in pass protection? Do you know who's 32nd dead last? Yeah, the Miami Dolphins. So you got Carson Wentz and Jacoby Brissett running for their lives here, right? I mean, two horrible pass protections. This game's going to come down to which team's able to establish any sort of run game. And on paper, you're probably thinking, oh, the Colts, Jonathan Taylor, they got to be the one with the better run game. Actually, analytically, you got to remember the Colts are missing three of their five starting offensive linemen here. The Miami Dolphins actually have the better rated rushing attack this year, but a much better, significantly better than the Colts. In fact, if this is going to turn into a game of clock control and game management, I got to give the edge to the Miami Dolphins here. They've been the more balanced, more consistent team. Definitely better at handling the blitz. So who am I betting here? Reluctantly, I'm going to go with the Dolphins, and I hate it because I was big on the Colts this year, but all those injuries, I mean, you can't do anything with that, and I can't believe I refuse to bet Carson Wentz against a blitzing defense until he shows me he knows how to handle it because he looks awful against the blitz. So give me the Dolphins minus two and a half. This one probably makes my top seven bets. We'll see. Final take, he gets posted on kylecrums.com, 11 a.m. Eastern time. It'll have my bet of the day, parlay of the day, top three bets, top five bets, and top seven bets, and every single one of my picks for every single game, um, all posted on one long page, kylecrums.com, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Also, if there's any crazy changes, injury updates, money movement, line shifts, anything like that, I will definitely put it on my Instagram story, Twitter, and Facebook. So make sure you check uh, one of those three platforms before you place your bets. NFL week four is here. Gotta love Sundays this time of year. Let's shake off yesterday or today, depending on what time you're watching this. Let's have a great day and make some money. I'll talk to you on Twitter.